Hello and thank you for joining us once again. Let me start by thanking all of our subscribers, all of our followers on Facebook, and all of our followers on Twitter. We have a wonderful movie for you this week, and now off we go to Steve Hayes' Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Oh, Johnny, it's been too long. Come on. Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Johnny, to celebrate gay marriage being passed in New York State, I wanted to do one of my favorite films with a gay theme, and I chose 1971's Sunday Bloody Sunday, directed by John Schlesinger and starring Peter Finch, Glenda Jackson, and Murray Head. This is based by, on an original screenplay by Penelope Gilliatt, who was a film critic for The New Yorker magazine. And what it has to do with is two middle-aged people who are in love with the same hot young guy who's about 20 years younger than they are. He's played by Murray Head. He's gorgeous. He's an artist. It takes place in London. And uh, Peter Finch is a doctor who is very, very set in his ways. He kind of wants a conventional romance. Hey, I said hello. You don't remember me? No, I don't. Hey, look, don't pretend that you don't remember me! He's had several pickups, but this is the first guy that he's really fallen for in a long time. Glenda Jackson is a woman who's had her relationships and nothing has been happening really, and this young guy has come into her life and brought a lot of life and zest. <laughs> They're both aware, both Peter Finch and Glenda Jackson are aware of each other's existences and the fact that Murray Head um, is having an affair with both of them simultaneously. And this, the title re refers to this coming Sunday, it's over a two week period, when Murray Head has decided he's going to move from London to New York to become an artist and they're both gonna lose him. Okay, I know you're not getting enough of me, but you're getting all there is. Perhaps you're spreading yourself a little thin. And during the two-week period, they're both trying to convince him not to move. Keep telephoning from New York. Does that mean you might have to go there? Yeah, but if I went, it wouldn't be for long. Glenda Jackson was at the peak of her of her stardom at the time. She had come up through the London theater. She had been in Marat Saad on the stage, and she starred in Larry Kramer's adaptation of D.H. Lawrence's Women in Love, which was directed by the crazy Ken Russell. Well, I was born here, and I'll die here until I fly away. Glenda was, I cannot tell you what a star she was. She was like the 70s version of Betty Davis. You know, she just, Glenda Jackson was, she was like, she, at the same time she was doing this movie, she was also playing Queen Elizabeth on the BBC Elizabeth R. There has never for me been anyone better at playing Elizabeth R than Glenda Jackson. My Lord of Leicester, are you afraid to show me your face? Only that I may be blinded by yours, madam. Here's a bold liar. She was imperious. She had this face. She wasn't a conventional beauty by any way, shape, or manner. She had crooked teeth. She had a slightly up-tipped nose. But she was absolutely dynamic. She was a viper. She would come right at you like Betty used to. That was her appeal. Uh, this was a time of great British actresses were coming up. Vanessa Redgrave was coming up. Maggie Smith in the prime of Miss Jean Brody had just won the Oscar a couple of years before. Um, but Glenda just ruled the roost for a few years. And John Schlesinger had just had a big hit directing Midnight Cowboy. And he came out of the closet while he was directing. And because it was the first X-rated movie to win a Best Picture Award, he had his choice of filming anything he wanted to film. And he chose this love story. This movie is about intelligent people who are so logical about what they do, except where their hearts are concerned. You are a silly tart. This was one of the first movies that ever showed two men kissing passionately. 
And I remember going to see this film and I was a senior in high school and taking my best friends and they all went, ooh, during that scene. And I thought to myself, this is the hottest thing I've ever seen. You're working and it's Saturday. Well, she said it was a calling. It always makes me want to be a housemaid. Are you all right? And I still think it's one of the hottest scenes I've ever seen. The incredible Glenda Jackson, Peter Finch, and the hunky, hunky Murray Head in John Schlesinger's quiet masterpiece, Sunday Bloody Sunday. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go no, I look like a Thomas's English muffin, all those nooks and crannies. <laughs> okay. Delicious thing.